Hey everybody, welcome to Stump. This is Ash. I'm joined by Anna Price and Jasmine. Hello. Hi. And we're playing Apico. I keep on wanting to say Apico. It's Apico, right? Ape, Apico. Like, a, like Apiary? Yeah. Apiary. Like Apiary. That's my assumption. All right. Uh, for those that don't know, this is a really interesting, like, um, be uh, be breeding, be keeping, um, and as well as like crossbreeding and and crafting, and, and, mining. and crafting, and, and yeah, it's a really interesting game that also supports multiplayer. So I'm really interested to to dive into this multiplayer. Um, before we do, I want to say thanks to T Engineers and Whitehorn Games for sponsoring this video. This game's out now, y'all, so you can check it out via the link in the description below. And I'm going to do a little extra plug here that a portion of this game's sales actually goes towards saving bees, IRL bees. You can, see, you can read a little bit more about that down here. Um, but I think that's really neat. That's great. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's dive into this thing multiplayer. I'm going to start setting up a game. All right, y'all. Uh, so I've made my character. I'm setting sail. I think what's cute about this game is it starts off a little bit like Stardew in that you get uh, a letter from a relative, which you're about to see here. Releasing the bees. Release the bees. Is it Oprah? <laughs> Frisly <Bye -bye>. Snow. <laughs> there we go. Uh, dear Ash, it was lovely to get your letter last week. So yeah, it's my grandma telling me that she's uh, really happy that I'm getting into beekeeping just like my grandpa used to do. And so I'm going to go visit my grandma and get into beekeeping, y'all. Grandma do it. And here's what the game's like. I got a little skipper here that's telling me about, uh, about the island. And then after I talk to him, it takes me over to my grandma. Oh. Do, do, do. And at this point, I believe others can join my game. Yeah, mine says loading world from host. My yeah. grandma is happy to see me. And here we go. Now we're into the game. This game is so cute already. I literally... <gasps> Are you in? I'm in! Alright, I'm gonna redo it. There's Beachy Anna? Yeah, you know, bees. Did you, not, did you not do a bee-themed name, Ash? Jasmine, How are dare you? My, are you my grandpa? I'm Grandpa Joe. Like... <laughs> I appreciate the funny names. I always name myself in what I think would be easy for our viewers to understand who we are. Well, but, I, I <laughs> has my name in and B's. I'm doing both. Can I pick up this flower? Oh my you gosh. You can in I a can second. I can pick up flowers. Um, Hi. Hey, there's Prudzy. Yes, thank you, Price, for understanding that we are doing B pun <laughs> names. All right, buzz, buzz. so uh, we've talked to my grandma. This game, I want to first start off by saying, if anyone out there has played the forestry mod for Minecraft, you're going to very quickly see ver a lot of similarities. So much so that I was forced to actually like look up. Obviously, this dev was inspired by the forestry mod, right? And I found this very long Reddit thread where the dev explained like their love of the forestry mod and the fact that... Um, you know, they've obviously departed and added a ton on to the forestry mod, but they showed so much appreciation that they had this statue here in the center of town. This is dedicated to the orig original forestry mod dev, Sir oh. Sanger. Oh. Um, that's, that's the cute. original forestry mod dev. Oh, that's so cool. So, uh, if anyone out there is familiar with sort of like the way that quest books and stuff worked in those Minecraft mod packs, I think you're going to be very familiar with when you press G. This is kind of a similar vibe, in my opinion. Um... You've got some intro Ooh. tutorial quests, and then it just sort of like holds your hand through like the initial steps of the game. Um, so it just wanted me to open up my quest book. I claim that. Getting around is pressing wads. Claim that, and I get an axe for that. And then it wants me to gather some resources with my axe. So I got a B for doing that. Now that I've got my axe and I equip it, I can knock down some trees. Hello, honey. I missed you. Give me a smooch. <laughs> All oh, right. Yeah. Using your axe is much easier than uh, with your hands. Than just punching. Absolutely. It takes forever mm -hmm. to kind of punch. Uh, I mean, listen. Look, I've right. seen people punch trees before. It's true. Doesn't look very useful to punch some trees, but. Oh, I got a bee! All right. So I've cut down a bunch of stuff. I hit G again. Uh, claim, and I get a workbench for that now. Uh, it also wants to teach me about using my inventory for pressing E. And I'll get a storage thing for that. And now it wants me to make a sawhorse. Can I pick up these birds? Birds, come here. So I... let's put down the workbench. Boom. There's the can't workbench. Pick up the birds. And then from the workbench, we can make the sawhorse craft. 
Uh, close that. And put down the sawhorse. Boom. Okay. So... We're just going to continue just on. Chopping along. And after these first initial steps, y'all, I'll just quickly say we're oh. going to get into actual bee stuff here very quickly. Um, Who's this person? <laughs> Beatrix? Oh, hey, Grandpa Joe. How Beatrix, you doing today? Beatrix, huh? Aw, oh, look at you. We'll make a car for day or you yet. If you want to upgrade your machine, just to talk to Lily. Start collecting lily pads so you can make them waterproof. Okay. Oh, you that's cool. You can buy cool. stuff from them. Okay. okay cool. Okay, okay. It's super cool. I'm going to collect this lily pad. Got one. Shop. Okay, birds. Give me these. You can't. Lily pads. You can't. You can't collect the birds. I tried. No, no, no. I'm, I'm getting these lily pads over here to make them waterproof. So where is our? Do we all have our own each individual farms? No, like there's there's not really a farm yet. There's just this town, and so we want to clear cut some of this forest to make ourselves a house. Yeah, I cleared um, some space oh. over here where I'm gonna start building a place. You okay. know, I don't know if we all. Where's over here? Yeah, need are to we gonna? Share, or? Are we gonna share? Or are we not gonna share? Well, and uh, how okay. about we? Do our own thing here, okay? Okay. Well, I don't want to be here. We got. We got. Let's look around and see where we want our bee farm to be. Like, there's this little island thing over here. I like islands. Islands in the sun. Yeah. Look at this place over here. There's already some bees. Okay. Let's do it here. Just clear cut all this. <laughs> so I'm just making some planks and some sticks real quick. There we go. That's probably more than enough. Um. Boom. Boom. We got water okay. bees. Look at them. Claim. Okay. Right, so I got a tools. Oh. workbench. Okay. And the sawhorse. There we go. So I click on this. I, I put bench. in here. I oh, I see. This is cool. I know you should try this. Okay. Hold on. I will. I'm just gonna clear this area right here. I can't break that. Okay, so I need to put down a workbench. And then... I'll also mention that in this game, you do not have to be next to any of the workbenches or sawhorses or anything. As long as it's within your field of view, you can click on it. Oh, okay. Well, this is pretty cool. Uh, the workbench is really fun. Hmm. You, yeah, okay, you have to like, go back and forth. You have to go back the, and forth. The sawhorse thing, you mean? Yeah. Also, Jess, there's just this random house over here. We could just take over this house, too. I mean, we can. It's our house now. And I just... Uh, <laughs> I just made myself a stone um, pickaxe, and I broke a, one of those big boulders, and I got a stone bee from that, y'all. Yeah, Ooh. you can get a bees stone out of bee. Um, a rocky bee, I should say. Rocky yeah. bee. Rocky. Why is he so okay. rocky? So... And then, let me put down this real quick. Okay, I like, this is cute. I like this a lot. Yeah. And if you guys ever put down something that you then need to move, use the hammer. FYI. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got a stone bee. Nice. Man, it really jumps at you on the screen. It does. Because they're bees. Rocky bee. Apis Petra. Uh, okay, and then hit that. Okay. Okay. Jazz, I'm making more log things. Planks. Okay. They're called planks. So, um, I guess, <clears throat> I don't know if we mentioned yet, um, but part of the mechanics of this is the, the breeding in order to get the bees to produce special resources. It's, exactly. So it's like, oh, you want iron? Well, there's not a lot of iron around for you to mine, but you could breed an iron bee and then it'll go off and get iron dust and bring it back, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, Bees are so, so cool. That's the part that I love about it is like you have to breed the bees to then get the resources that you need. Jazz, I like how you're doing the tutorial and I'm just not. I am, but like I'm like, I'm going to go exploring. All Let's right. see what and I now, can find. And now's the time to explore. I'm now at the point where I need to get, get bees. Um, well, I just stole a verge bee from its hive. I don't know. You just stole a bee? It said it was oh, blessed. Please. How did you find that out? Oh, I just yeah. clicked on the the bee house. You just took it. Yeah. Oh, you can't. You can't just take bees. You can't. I moved. Yeah. I think I combined two bees into one bee. Yeah, you sort of combine two bees into a queen, and that's how you get them breeding again. Oh yeah. well, uh, maybe bee. Now that I had you in my pocket, why don't you come back here into the nest? 
Okay. I can't. I can't. Oh, those. <gasps> oh, those bees. It's almost like real life where bees give birth to baby bees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I can't put the. Oh, what if I take. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take one bee. And then I'm going to put it in the other hive. That... Verge bees, how do you like. All right. Can I put you in here? Hello. And now it's time to get a bunch of flowers, y'all. Okay. I'll put some bees in there. Yeah, I'm going to take a forest bee. I want to take another forest bee. Okay. And it looks like they're po they're they're pollinating one another. And now I got a queen bee. Hell yeah. Bryce, where did you set up shop? Um, northwest of town. Okay. 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 I got them going. I got them going. Okay. So, um, I need to get flowers. Yep. Samesies. All right, so I gotta get some flowers. I'll say There's a lot of red ones up by me. I got I got bee pollen. The blue ones only um, produce in the water, y'all. Just in case that gets confusing. Ah. That took me a little bit to realize. Okay, I got one flower. A rain tank. Rain tank. I'm buying ah. a. Oh wait, what do we need? We need like waterproofing. Hey, wait, Price. don't we have that? Hello. Was my inventory that full? Cheesy Weezers. All right, and what then are here? these? Yeah, these are blue ones. I need some more red ones. All right. I'm trying to pick flowers like further away so that the bees don't get all angies. They need their flowers, yeah. Okay. I also really like that uh, you can have multiple windows open at the same time. That is so refreshing. And you can mm. move them around. Yeah. And there's sort of a lot of, um, of uh, not automation really, but like, if you want something to like quick transfer to a particular window and you have say three windows open, you can actually like, there's a button to be like, I want this to quick transfer to this window. I'm gonna go check on my water bees. Water bees? How do I? <gasps> oh yes, breed with the queen. The queen bee. My goodness. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll do one of these bees. Where did those other bees go? Excuse me. Excuse me, water bees? Come back here. I gotta, I gotta borrow one of you for a second and move you over there. Okay, so got you can bees. Move their colony and their hive with the hammer if you wanna move them. I don't wanna move them. That seems rude. They're just it's doing also, their own thing. It is a big part of this game. Like, you're, you're okay. gonna end up having to move hives. I'll move you, Ash. Okay. I'll move you. Don't don't think I won't. There's Ash, some. did you say you can move wild hives? Or are yeah. you just saying just oh, ha how? just hammer them? Oh. You'll okay. you'll you'll get a ton of stuff. your inventory will fill up very quickly because you're going to get all the bees and all the Everything honey. that's in there. Yeah. yeah. Um Cool. Uh, I'm moving a few down here real okay. quick. I'm now setting up my own colonies just with the basic bee hives. I'm about to make an apiary as well. Um oh, beehive. But the, as I'm putting in two bees, I kind of, um, one of the aspects of this game is picking bees with the best stats. And yes. so sometimes it's obvious because like this bee, for example, says it's a blessed bee, um, which oh. I think just means it has some better traits. I don't necessarily know what the blessed trait means, but if you hold shift on any of these bees, you actually see statistics on them. And so this actually reminds me a bit of forestry as well in that like- Yeah, that's very forestry. Um, you want to pick bees that have the best stats overall. So like mm -hmm. this, I'm definitely going to pick the blessed bee and then I'm just seeing, do any of these bees have a five and, in them? And then the other part is that like you kind of have to breed until you get lucky enough that you get a bee that gets only the good ones and not the bad ones, right? Because exactly. I think that there's always a, uh, a balance there. So then as I pop in a couple of bees, um, they make a queen and then they just start making new bees. Um, and it seems like Newbies? whenever whenever you Newbies. see a wild bee colony that has the little speech bubble over it, mm -hmm. that means that they've created the maximum amount of bees that they can. And so you walk up to them and there's a little quick toggle button to quick. It's called the quick queen button. And it takes two of the bees that's already in the hive. It pops it into the slot to make a new queen. Hmm. And then they start making new bees again. Um, which I think is is how you get them to produce more honey and, and earn yeah. money that way. Okay. Um, and then I'll put this over here. Where's oh, and I meant to put down a ton of flowers. Um, 
So, okay, so, um, do I want to be putting more bees into, um, my forest bee? So, open up, like, uh, here, can I, can I come over and take a look? Yeah, I'm just, it, like, I have the queen, she's about to die. Do I want to put more bees in here? Like, <gasps> So, I don't know, so, okay, you're <gasps> looking at this one? Well, first of all... <gasps> what are you doing? I found a rocky bee! Oh, rocky bee! I don't know. Just what I will say is I think that these uh, these are the beehives that are kind of like tier one. You're about to learn how to make apiaries, which is, I think, like where you're going to get the money bees, you know? Well, like, no, I just want to make sure that I have enough bees going in this apiary so that I can continue more. Because now she's spent. Oh, OK. Oh, she made more bees. OK, that was my question. Yeah, they make more bees. OK. Do they have a lifespan? Do we know? I don't know about lifespan. It just seems like they produce up to a certain amount and then the queen dies. Um, gotcha. So, yeah, they have a lifespan. <clears throat> so, so I got this predictor over here. So if I put the bees in this thing. I'll also say, Price, I don't come come down here for a second, bud. Um, I don't know necessarily if flowers improve the quality of something. <clears throat> okay. But when you surround your colonies and flowers, I mean, first thing that I notice is that they, the bees end up planting a bajillion more flowers on their yeah, own. Yeah, I've definitely um, noticed that. But then two, like I do think, like I'm seeing little love signs above them as I do that. So I think uh -huh. that it might be improving the quality of something. Yeah, you know? I do think that if they have enough <coughs> flowers, they, they are happy, essentially. Um, okay, so now I'm going to make an apiary. Okay, so I got two queen bees. I'm going to go over here to this predictor and predict, okay. predict my queen. Predict okay. It. Uh, basically, I'll just produce more forest bees with this queen bee. Oh, this okay. is for crossbreeding bees. Oh, okay, I get it. It's like in that biology class where you got like A B, and this is like this is A A B B. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Punnett yeah. squares. Yeah. Okay. I love Punnett squares. So I put down an apiary, and one of the neat things about the apiary is then you can load it up with the wooden frames, which is kind of like the. I don't know what. Oh, the, yeah, that boost there. The 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 artificial honeycombs, you know, the, those things. Um, that's what the wooden gotcha. frames are. <gasps> Look at all the <clears throat> flowers. So I'm actually going to make a couple of wooden frames because I think, yeah, I think I can load up this apiary with up to three. Okay. So, oh, lifespan. Okay. Shh, the bees are sleeping. So there's that, and then I'm just going to pop in. Oh, is this how I can crossbreed? Yeah, so let me grab, like, a common bee. Grab that common bee. Grab him. Rehabilitator! Bee oh, I uh, get it. Someone play a song on the jukebox? It just auto-plays after a time. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to put in a common bee and a force bee. And will that crossbreed? What does that make? Make sure that made a common forest queen hybrid. I don't know what that means, but it's we doing something. We need still more bees. <clears throat> I agree. We need more bees. Come, come bees. Let me steal oh. your goods. Oh, hold on. Show me your wares. Oh, on the apiary, it actually tells you what kind of flowers this particular queen wants to see in its radius. Where does it? If you make an apiary. Ah, that's cool. So I just made an apiary, and I just crossbred for the first time, which is neat. Okay. <gasps> so Yo, I have hmm. a rocky queen. Yeah, cool. I pimped my hive. <laughs> Pimp your hive. I don't think that's a thing. That's literally what the quest was called. Okay. Um, okay, fine. Maybe it is a thing. Okay, so I load up, you load up the bee box all with one type of bee. Yeah, that's what it, okay. That's what I thought. So it's like a storage, like I think probably an infinite storage for one type of bee. But then, okay, hold on. Let me, let me complete the quest because I, I built that claim. And now for crossbreeding, now that you have an apiary, you'll be able to start crossbreeding. When you create a queen in the apiary, it'll inherit the selection of traits from both bees and it can become a hybrid. Craft a predictor to help pr uh, predict offspring traits. Okay, so it is the apiary that you are crossbreeding in. Okay. Yeah. But then if you build a predictor, 
you'll be more easily able to tell like which bees to crossbreed between each other. Okay. It's which one that you're crossbreeding in? The apiaries where the actual crossbreeding is happening. It sounds like the game wants you to build a predictor to be able to sort of like more easily tell what you're going to get if you crossbreed. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Gotcha. So. Okay. Okay. I'm heading back and then maybe I'll start right. trying we'll that. find like a, a cool, a cool bee. Cool queen well, bee. A bee that's cool with the kids. Here, I, I've got a ton of bees in this box, Jazz, if you need some bees. Bees, bees in this box, bees, bees in this I'm putting, box. I'm putting some oh. queens in there, too. Oh, so it's the offspring from... Okay, so in my apiary, I had crossed between a common bee and a forest bee, and it didn't really look like anything had changed on that queen that it created, but the offspring is different. Yeah, gotcha. So okay. I made a verdant bee. Whoa. Ooh la la. Uh, interesting. Special produce? Who knows? It's all question mark. Okay. All right, come on, bees. I'm, oh my god, there, there's just so many bees. So then let's make another verdant bee. I'm just going to put some more bees in here. Don't worry, bees. Hmm. Okay, predictor. Everything's gonna be okay. So these filled uh, wooden frames, how do I unfill them? I guess is my question. Oh, you probably have to get a cap. I probably need to uncap, yeah. There was something about That's uncapping. Uncapping frames. Your pure pre- oh, ooh, okay. All right, so only queens can be put in the predictor. I got it, okay. Wait, only queens can be put in the predictor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Because it predicts what their offspring is going to be. Ooh, I got two really cool queens. Okay, let's see. Predictor, predict this queen. Okay, this. and then let's put this uncap. I'm just taking over the middle of town right now. Um, <laughs> go, bees, go! I feel like I need more time with this game than what we're doing right now. It's interesting. Yeah, because I think I, I need do. to be doing things at a much more grand scale than just sort of like the four little colonies in the one apiary that I have. Um, <gasps> Who's this? Excuse me? A merchant? Wh- oh my god, what are you buying? Hmm. I can buy things. Mysterious idol. Wait, do I even have gold? No, I literally... Who has gold? Someone come over here and buy things. I have no gold. I have no gold. I need... No, no, I just... I have zero Listen. rupees and zero honey cores. Listen, do you take bees as currency? Because I could give you a hundred bees right now. So many bees. Just so many bees. Hey, Ash, check out my new hat. What you got? Ooh, you're looking rough and tough there, Jazz. Wait. <laughs> do you Wait, see how, this? how are you cycling like that? <laughs> how are you changing your look? Go to the, the, go, go to the, uh, the mirror. What mirror? We oh, have a this... mirror? In Grandma's are... house. I see wooden walls. No, go inside. Go inside Grandma's house. Oh, this mirror. dresser. This dresser. Uh, you can change your stuff at the dresser. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. What's up, Grandpa Joe? Okay. Well, like, I think that um, we've showcased a pretty good amount of what you can do in this game here. Yeah, I feel like um, you really need to spend <clears throat> some more time, like, going mm-hmm. through this, because there's a lot to do. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people here, too. I think there's really, like, we're just scratching the surface. I'll say that, like, in my own private playthrough, um, I, I didn't get this far, but I will say that, like, at night, I saw out in this direction by Jazzy and Enna's uh, house, I saw, like, what looked like a little rogue. Like a little, like a, like a the guy. The merchant. Little... That's the merchant. Oh, was that the merchant? Yeah. Okay. I, th- I was, like, worried to go up to him. I thought I was going to get stabbed. No. <laughs> he's just, he's from Resident Evil 4. Listen, after after Resident Evil 4, tough times for video game characters. He luckily found a job here at, you know, the B game. And he's selling his wares again. Selling his wares. Selling them wares. Also, if you guys look at the map, it's huge. Oh, yeah. It's very large. Um... Do we get like boats and stuff to get around, or is it just you walk across the uh, 
There's would seem to be boats. Yeah, I think um, you need a boat because you can't go through um, dark water. The bees of dark water. The bees and of dark hey. water. Wait till the, hope they don't get canceled by the last season. Oh, no. <laughs> if they're Why on would Netflix, they will. That? All right, all right. Well, I think that's that, this is a pretty good place to wrap up, y'all. Um, I was hoping to get a couple of ver verdant bees to then breed them together to see what they produce, but I didn't. I sadly didn't get a second one. Um, so, I mean, it's. I think we're really just sort of scratching the surface here. I think there's a lot more tech stuff um, that we haven't seen. I think there's a bajillion more bees that we haven't seen. Like if mm. we go to, that's the quest one. Where is the the bee guide? Is it this one? Yeah. So there's what looks to be 35 chapters in this, and we've only unlocked five in, wow. the, in the bees. Um, Dang. At least I have. So, yeah, there's a lot of bees that we lot haven't to be seen. Done. Um, oh. Lots of be done. Lots of bees. I get it. I get, get it. I here. get it. Get me out of here. There's one called the Industrial Bee. There's an Empress Bee. I was uh, just saying that. I'm saying. I'm, I am curious to see just like if there is automation to the bees, like if the bees can sort of like automate turning logs into planks, that type of thing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see what, what roads this game goes down with with how it, how the how the bees produce different things. Um, anyway, let us know what you guys are thinking down in those comments below. And if you'd like to see us play more, um, reminder, this game's out right now. And a portion of its sales actually do help go to save the bees. So if you guys are interested in this, check it out via the link in the description below. Anyway, y'all, we've been stumped. I've been asked joined by Anna Price and Jocelyn. We'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.